Welcome back to the program. Let's head over to West Africa once again. Ghana has renewed a ban on social events like weddings and large gatherings of any kind. This comes in the wake of a surge of COVID-19 cases in the country. As CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai now reports, however, these pandemic restrictions are imposing a very heavy toll on businesses operating in the hospitality sector. When Ghana went into a partial lockdown last year due to the outbreak of COVID-19, Veronica Mensah's business was hit hard. She says people who had contracted her to plan their events called to cancel and demanded their money back. Just when business started to pick up this year after restrictions were eased, a renewed ban on social events is once again threatening her business. People are cancelling their bookings again and others are asking for a refund. The main problem is that we don't have the money to give them because we've used it to buy decoration materials. It would have been okay if they decided to postpone their events. The government says the lack of enforcement of COVID-19 safety measures at parties has contributed to the surge in infections in Ghana. It has banned all social events involving large crowds to curb the spread of infections. This company that hires out chairs has had all its bookings cancelled. People do wedding during February 14th and this, fe uh, this February 14th fell in, in, on, a, on a weekend. So it would have been a very good day for us to have more programs but, and the lockdown came. So it's been healthy, being able to pay your rent and other things, it's, it's not easy. While the ban is already taking its toll, some managers of event centers like this one say they can do things differently when allowed to operate. Our outdoor space is more than one acre and it can quite harbor people for of over 500, including the social distancing and then the one meter and all that. And I think we, the outdoor event centers, we take the COVID-19 protocols very, very serious. We make sure you wash your hands before you come in, you check your temperature, you sanitize and all that. And we have personnel for that. So I think the government should look at the numbers and then let us resume. It's unclear just when the ban will be lifted. The government, however, says it will allow private funerals and parties for up to 25 people. With the uncertainty of when the ban on social events will be lifted, some event organizers say it's going to be difficult to pay back their loans. They say while the ban holds, many people within the industry could lose their jobs. Like Veronica Mensa, many people employed within the hospitality industry in Ghana want the government to reconsider its ban on social events. They hope it's lifted soon to prevent their businesses from folding. Nabil Ahmed Rufai. CGTN, Accra, Ghana.